Good morning, crafty friends. It's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel, and I am getting ready to head off for a day of crafty fun with a fun friend. I thought I would maybe try to do a little vlogging to just share the day with you. So it's about 7.50 and I am getting ready to go get gas, go get some cash and head off. Go ahead and maybe put it in your noggin or in the comment section below where you think I might be going today. All right, I've got some gas and now I'm off to get a little mad money and I'm getting on the road about 10 minutes late. Once I had my destination in Google Maps and my Hamilton soundtrack started, it was time to get on the road. And I was hoping that the fact the semi in front of me had destined for greatness on the back was a good sign for today's trip. There was a time that my car could have probably driven itself to my destination city. Before we moved to Nebraska, we lived in the Kansas City metro area, and that is where I am headed today. The drive down was pretty beautiful. There was not a lot of road work. I just hit that once for about a mile, and then it was back on the road ready to roll. All right, I just did my pit stop. I am about halfway there. I usually take it out of McDonald's. It's a halfway point so I can use a restroom because you can count on those to be clean usually in the middle of nowhere. And their fountain soda is my favorite. I'll keep you updated. I'm getting ready to get back on the road and while I love jamming out to Hamilton to the halfway mark, I have decided to play the Gaslighter album by The Chicks, formerly known as The Dixie Chicks. Let me know in the comment section below what you like to listen to when you're on a road trip. Today's trip did bring back a lot of great memories for me. I missed Kansas City a whole bunch and for years when we first moved to Nebraska. I am starting to finally feel like I am at home, but it is always nice to go back and just see what's going on in the city and how it's changed and visit some of my favorite places, which included my first stop in the city. Well, I am at my first destination. You already saw it was Ikea. I'm going to get some hopefully crafty things here for my studio or my craft room. And um, it's not the only surprise I have for you. I am at Ikea, guys, and I have one more surprise. Look who's with me. Hello! It's very good. Oh my God, it's very good fun. <laughs> Founder and head professor of Fun University and your intrepid hostess. For Crafty Owl Day here in Kansas City! Yeah! <laughs> Once I had that video uploaded to Instagram, I did go ahead and put away my video camera, aka my phone, for pretty much the rest of the trip. I did pull out my phone though for a few photos, which I will share with you later, but we just spent time walking kind of power walking through Ikea, and unfortunately what I went for, they must have discontinued. But I did pick up a little rainbow bag. I was hoping to get the larger one, but unfortunately that bin was empty and we didn't see any more throughout the store. Now there was one lady carrying what I think was the last one, and it took all my willpower not to go and try to get it from her. 
I also went home with a kitchen tray, very exciting purchases. And if you wanna know what Mary got, make sure to check out our little video we did together at her place, which I will link in the description box below. After we made it through the maze at Ikea, Mary was my chauffeur for the day, and the first stop was at one of my favorite restaurants, which I miss so much living here in Nebraska, and that is Mi Ranchito. We enjoyed some yummy food, lots of chips and salsa, and some great conversation before we realized we were running a little ahead of schedule, so we made a special stop. That's right, I got to see where the magic happens every Friday night for Craft Roulette Live. I also got to meet Mary's fur babies, Mr. Producer, AKA Steven, and Mr. Gun. We had a great time together there. I got to see how everything works, and let me tell you, Mr. Producer does a wonderful job. He does so much behind the scenes that you would never think of. So make sure the next time that you're watching Craft Roulette to give him a little shout out and a thank you. Now, while I was there, we recorded a little video together. And like I mentioned before, I will have that in the description box below so you can go check that out and find out what Mary got at Ikea. After our stop at Fun University Headquarters, it was off to one of my favorite places to stop in Kansas City because they have all kinds of paper that I need for card making, and that is Clampett Paper Company. If you live in the Kansas City area and you are a card maker, this is going to be a great resource for when you want cardstock for your card bases and even some specialty material like clear cardstock and vellum. We did spend some extra time here trying to match cardstock that I had brought in as samples, so we were a little bit late and had to rush to our last stop together for the day. And let me tell you, this place did not disappoint either. Once again, if you live in the Kansas City area and you have not yet stopped by Vintage NKC, get yourself there. This store is packed full of beautiful products for paper crafting. And I had no idea it was there. And let me tell you, next time I'm back in Kansas City, I'm definitely going to stop by again. And as they say, all good things must come to an end. It was getting to the time where I needed to get out of the city to try to avoid rush hour. Hey guys, I just wanted to give a little update here. I am on my way back home from my fun day. I hope that you enjoyed kind of coming along with me on it. I know that I had a great time with Mary. It was so much fun and that is fun with two ends. Um, yeah, if you liked this little kind of crafty vlog, I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up. Until my next one, I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye-bye. It had been a fun-filled but long day, so for my trip home, I needed some music that would keep me pumped up for the almost three-hour drive. So for me, that is Taylor Swift's Reputation album. I did make it through the city pretty much unscathed. I hit a little traffic, but once I was out on the main interstate, I-29, it was a smooth road home. I don't think I could have asked for better weather or better driving conditions for this little trip. And if I would have went even one day later, I might have hit a tornado right about this spot. Yes, that's the area I live in, Tornado Alley. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.